how'd you meet? Keep asking. Keep talking. Met in a bar. Pretty mm. typical. The birthplace of modern romance. 1975 it was. Faux show. No such thing as Match.com back then. Not a prof. Smooth. What is going on, Geeks Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Firewatch. When last I spoke, uh, when last we talked, uh, we were on the trail of uh, some teenagers, the same ones I gave shit to out at the lake, and they, I guess, not only wrecked my tower, but they cut the utility wire here, the one that lets us communicate with the outside world, um, and Delilah has asked us to find them and mess them up. Do you see anything from yours, like, you know, with clues as to where they could be? <laughs> Clues. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing I like job. mystery. I like it. I, I do. I just I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your our mind minds collective. But no, <laughs> no clues. I I can't see anything from here. No problem. Space bar drop down. Yeah, their beer cans go along here. Alright, shortcut it is. And we should keep our eyes open for uh, caches. Um, because they contain map shortcuts, and we're going to need some. We haven't traveled up to this area yet. Um, there's one, 241. So maybe we'll make a beeline for that. Uh, but if uh, this trail of Red Eagle cans leads us... Uh, actually, this trail seems almost fake, doesn't it? <laughs> These Red Eagle cans being everywhere. How could a girl drink, a little teenage girl drink that many beers in the 100 meters? That we covered there. Even if there's two of them, it doesn't add up. This is gorgeous. Jeez. All right, let's hop down. That's a big one. Oh, got it. No problem. I gotta tell you, all this climbing and jumping—it's pretty invigorating. Throw a fair. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. Let's hope so. Uh, I think she mentioned the girls, yes, headed back towards the lake. And look what we have found. I don't think this belonged to them. I remember finding this in the preview build. This is a hanging backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No. no it looks like it was lost a long time Belongs ago. Belongs to Brian Goodwin. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Ro oh. I thought we got rope out of there, but I guess we get the camera too. That's neat. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. Taking selfies. They hadn't invented selfies yeah, in 1989. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. There we go. Are you a fellow you had a thing with? Mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love hey. could never really be understood. There's smoke out here. Uh, I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with huh. his dad Ned three summers ago. They let you bring kids. Bring kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah, but... I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Hmm. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. That. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll Fossilized keep you while you find those girls, huh? Probably poop. Probably not a claw at all. Loose stone. Pick it up. That's it? That's the whole thing here? Note. 
who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving. Guess who's going out with boxes. Debbie next week? Is there any chance one of them new guy at two forks? The you know, the guy with the flashlight. No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't Shoot really rock. know him that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Huh, cool. So I have spotted a thin column of smoke. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. Spot it too, Delay. Like this is either a D. fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I'm about to mess so. some shit up. It I'm about like to mess to these the girls up. Southwest of me. Kick That's some right. ass. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Five Mile Creek. Okay. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Five Mile Creek. Hmm. Five Mile. Okay. Okay. And we are where? All the way. Oh, we got a long way to go, don't we? Wow. That can't be right. It looks so close, doesn't it? All right, well, we'll keep hustling. And uh, if anything interesting happens, I will bring you guys back. If not, I will bring you back when we get to... Uh, I'm sure something interesting will happen. So I'll bring you back when the next interesting thing happens. So... Right Did now. You break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. Yeah. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. We'll get well, into it. In the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Will do, darling. Will do. Rope hook. Okay, more descending. And this is a hell of a view. Hell of one. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what? You like that? This guy is the freaking king of the flapjacks. Yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. It's all yours. Nice. I like that that dialogue tree there. Did it differently last time. All right. Let's make sure we are still. On, oh no. I guess we got more descending to do. Yep, it's way further away than I thought. Way, way further. Uh, so we do have a ways to go. The characters are kind of neat. They're very... Uh... Where am I? Thunder Canyon. Okay, cool. So maybe we'll take Thunder Canyon down to the lake, go up to Cache 305, and then we'll come back down and go down Five Mile Creek. Oh, we can probably take a shortcut, eh? We can probably repel after Cripple Gulch. We'll see. No, we'll, we'll go, we're going this way. We're going this way and we're gonna do it and it's gonna be fun. I recognize this area. I don't need to call it in. I've changed shirts for you guys in between episodes zero and one and episode two i have a multitude of flannel available to me and i like to make full use of it you don't want to watch a whole series of me wearing the same flannel shirt so i gotta mix it up from time to time hopefully i continue to i'm gonna play a bunch in this sitting uh i'm not sure how much of the game i'm going to play and record probably there's some music chris remo is the composer of uh, the music i spotted him when i uh, I learned, uh, kind of became familiar with Chris when I got into Firewatch. And I followed Sean and Jake, the two of the developers, on Twitter. And um, 
they were always talking to Chris, and Chris has created the music for this game. It's really, by the way, you can buy this on Steam discounted, I think still with uh, the soundtrack. It's really moody, really emotional, and it has just enough hints of sort of twang to feel at home out here. Hey, we're back. What back at Jonesy have? Lake. This is our wife, guys. If you missed episode zero, this is sadly Sorry, the answer. I don't need to just leap into it if you're not ready. She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. With her family? Fuck. Okay. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Let's give this one a nice long break. Well, we didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get Alzheimer's in your late 30s. No kidding. But even then, we didn't really get it until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this is it. This is over. That was hard. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some New shortcut summer. up to a PD. Cool. Um, let's see what else is hiding here. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls. I mean, it's been here a long time. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. What went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased. Could this be what she was talking about? Can I not ask her about this note? Shoot. Okay. Close it. Take this book in case we get bored. Um, and I guess I'll leave that note there. Uh, I just detoured to get to this cache. It was pretty useless. University of did your wife's illness some have fake university. To do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to you know how the hell you ended up out here. Um. Actually, I went looking for the job. I just wanted to get out of town for a while. Well, you've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in forest service budget and can actually afford to have you. Uh, what happened last summer? What happened last summer that accounted for this uh, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone oh. National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? I can't get through this way. Okay. We're going to have to look for a shortcut. Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear I'm about lost. this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't <laughs> have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Alright. We are on the trail. I think there is a, a point to descend, like a rappel point up ahead here. Um, but we just need to make our way there. And hopefully we can use it to cut over. Yes, this is what I was looking for. Cut over into uh the next area which will take us down i think to five mile creek but it'll get us close and one of the best um features of this game the one that i found most appealing is this conversation this back and forth between henry and delilah sean vanneman who's one of the developers wrote i think all of this dialogue uh, he's listed so, as the writer how'd you meet 
Keep asking. Keep talking. Met in a bar. Pretty mm. typical. The birthplace of modern romance. 1975 it was. Faux show. No such thing as Match.com back then. Not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Okay, cash 309. Nice. And hopefully we'll get to know a little bit more, or we'll get to tell Delilah a little bit more about our history with our wife. Another one of these. Nice. 309. Open it up. One, two, three, four. They're all the same, which is kind of cool. Missing person. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare, because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. Just got me thinking. This is garbage. Well. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a hole who dragged his son out to do a job. And I didn't know they had PTSD in 1989. But they'd figured out what it was. Okay, we're on the right track. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly. I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every <laughs> thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. It's pretty yeah, nice. I think that's where I am. How gorgeous. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that Oh, smoke. yeah. I'm on it. I'm on it. Bring that music back in. Oh. Got beer cans. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny Whoa. dipping, I bet they're nearby. What the hell is this? Right. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. I did find the one beer can. It was on a trail that went off to the right here, so I'm thinking maybe if we go this way, we'll pick it back up. Oh, where's that column of smoke? Am I that close to it? That I can see it? I don't think so. Source of the smoke. Almost somewhere in here. Off to the right, I guess. Oh, there's a tent. Okay. Yeah, found... What? What I found? Teen campfire stomped this bad boy out again. I see it campsite and it looks like they've got a fire is it them no, it seems like it i swear they must have dragged four cases of beer out here track them down and don't let them see you what a job this is well they're probably any well i found some dangerous hunks <laughs> what on earth are you it's the name of a magazine for girls <laughs> it's on the ground here. i found some dangerous camp. hunks uh i have entered the teen zone Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Alright. Destroyed. Wow. Wow, these girls could be in some trouble. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. You no, know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Um. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could it Dear that? psycho. Like a like a bear or um. I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. I hope You've you're happy. Camera, right? We're leaving. Just in case. 
We're gonna find yeah, the police. Yeah, right, 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 the camera. Okay. Uh, I hope you're happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them how you creeped on us and then you came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, stealing panties is gross out. I didn't touch the panties. You're probably a mental axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Heart. Okay, put the note down. Um, let's tell her about this, because... Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Don't be ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. I've known you, what, 24 hours? Maybe, maybe you're nuts. Oh god, look, I just came out here to sit in a tower, all right? Not get into some mess with a bunch of co-eds. It's fine. They're, they're gone? Yeah. They're gone. But you should Long see gone. this place. It's just... It's weird. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Geeks, thank you so much for watching episode... 3 of Firewatch. I'm Unite the Clans. I'll be back with you in the next one. Listen to this music. This shows you it's 1989. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Wow. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the Shut it, kids. Hey, I see plenty of boobs.